Hey guys, CJ Ramon of the World Famous Ramones here. Uh, I figured I'd give you guys a little tour of my uh, tour kit. Real super simple and stripped down. Um, it's been uh, the one I've been using for the past couple of years. Formerly I used Ampeg SVT amps, but because I inherited those Ampegs from the Ramones and they have substantial historical value at this point, I, uh, I switched out and um, I started working with Fender. So the amp I'm using now is the, uh, is the new Fender Super Bassman, it's 350 watts. It has plenty of power to play rooms of all different sizes. Um, I chose the 610 cabinet because for the size rooms we're playing right now, that fills up just about anything that we do. Um, in the bigger rooms, the 810 cabinet, of course, is uh, on bigger stages, the 810 cabinet would be the one I used. Um, as far as the sound, the, the reason why I picked um, uh, this amp in particular is because it has gain and a master volume. Um, I tend to use a um, slightly overdriven sound and um, between gain and, and the master volume I can really uh, I can crank up the gain, keep the volume relatively low and then um, push a little bit more with the master volume and it, and it gives me plenty of, uh, plenty of that nice overdriven semi distorted sound. Um, <clears throat> I'm not, uh, I'm, not a re I'm not real particular with my settings because it depends on the room. I know that I have a good bass setting that I use, but it depends on the room, where the subs are, if the subs are under the stage, stage sometimes. There's so much low end just coming up through the uh, stage itself that I don't need to bury the bass. Um, but um, I, uh, the one thing that I try to insist wherever we go is that they mic the amp as well as use the direct out on the back. It's got a really nice, clean, direct out on the back. We get no interference, no uh, noise from it. Um, and the reason I I, uh, I want the cabinet mic is because, like I said, I use a slightly overdriven sound. The speakers give it a little bit more distortion when you push them harder. And um, and that's pretty much how I uh, how I set my rig up. But um, I don't use any um, pedals. I don't use any outboard gear. I play a Fender. DD Ramon um, model base. It's a Mexican made base <clears throat> that Fender put out a couple years ago. Um, it's got a uh, Ramon's logo on the plate on the back. It's got DD's signature on the back of the headstock. Um, I'm in the process of hot riding it somewhat. I changed out the pots <clears throat> for slotted pots so I could use the Gibson speed knobs, which I've always enjoyed. And in general, all my bases, I put a badass bridge on. Since Badass has been um, in flux uh, for the past few years, they're harder and harder to come by, but as soon as I find one, I'll put it on. I use the Badass Bridge <clears throat> because it gives me a little bit more sustain. I think it changes the sound somewhat too. There's guys that argue that it doesn't change anything, blah, blah, but it's just since, probably since about 1980, 81 maybe, every bass I owned, I put a Badass Bridge on. Um, I do not treat my bases or my gear with any extreme love and affection, um, but I do uh, I do tend to keep them clean and and, um, and uh, play them often. But um, I'm not uh, I'm not real real particular when it comes to um, um, I've had a bunch of bases stolen. I guess that's what I'm trying to say, um, including uh, Mo's right, uh, the other company that I work with. Uh, actually makes a CJ Ramon bass. Um, they made me a prototype that was stolen in Japan uh, a couple of years back. I had the bases that I used with the Ramones stolen a couple of years back. So um, I kind of learned not to get attached and uh, and it bothers me a lot less if I <laughs> if I tell myself that. But um, but yeah, but that's about it as far as tour kit goes. That's uh, that's about everything I use. I use um, I have been using the um, uh, Boss chromatic tuner just because it's heavy duty and I can stomp on it and beat it up and I don't have to worry about it. Um, cables I buy whatever is cheap. I, I tried using real high-end cables for a while but because we are such a small operation we tend to leave them behind and all that so now I just buy the cheap ones and toss them at the end of the tour. So I use um, SIT strings. <clears throat> These are I believe it's 105 to 45. Um, and they're a medium light um, bass string. I, I used to play a real heavy gauge, but um, because I pick so hard, 
I found that uh, it sounded better with a with a lighter string. I, I'm, I have a really uh, heavy picking style, doing all downstrokes, of course. Um, but uh, SIT strings, they're based out of Ohio. Um, good guys that own the company, they um, contacted me a couple years back and asked me if I was interested. Um, and uh, the, the main thing that attracted me to them is they're, uh, they're called SIT for stay in tune. Like I said, I pick real hard. I used to have a little problem with tuning. And, um, and since I started using them, it really seems to have helped a lot. So. So I would stand by that product. They make they make good stuff. Really, uh, really good strings. I get my picks through Pick World. Right there. With the CJ Ramon logo, of course. Um, yeah, picks are picks. I mean, I know there's a lot of different types. I always use the um, the triangle ones because. I wear them down pretty quickly <clears throat> during a the show. They round off pretty quick. Even using the heaviest gauge, that's like I said, I, I pick fairly heavy. Um, and we've had, we've been, I think I've been using them for like six or seven years. I've had a good relationship with those guys. Um, uh, the other only piece of, of uh, oh, there's actually two other things. I always got my Yankee cap on, representing New York, and I always wear a sweatband on stage, and that's. Mostly, uh, I used to get a blister right here on my hand, um, on the between my wrist and my hand, because that's where I rest my hand when I pick. And I found that wearing a sweatband would keep the keep me from getting that. So I wear a sweatband right hand only, and my Yankee cap and my Pro Kids. My Pro Kids is my other big part of my gear. I only wear Pro Kids. I don't wear Chuck Tails. I don't wear anything else. I always wear Pro Kids. Always have. I'm not endor endorsing. Pro Cad or anything, they don't endorse me, don't give for free, they don't give to me for free. They um, they do a big release at the beginning of every year, I buy like five pairs. Um, and um, I think that's about it. So that's it guys, that's all my gear. Thanks a lot for watching. Um, if you wanna follow me, uh, you can find me on Instagram under the CJ Ramon, on Twitter under the CJ Ramon, that's T-H-E-E, -E, and on uh, Facebook of course. And um, hope to see you guys at the show.